Hey guys, I'm back again with a brand new video for you all, and today I brought you Open Great League battles with Furthorn, Typhlosion, and Wigglytuff. Furthorn is a very good lead. Now, think about the rise of the meta, the types like Ground, like Gastrodons and Marowax, and there are gonna be Clefables, right? So, Furthorn being both Steel and Grass takes care of those Fairies and Ground types both, and also takes care of other Grass, uh, but not something like Trevenant, right? and struggles against uh, jump off as well that is why i put their typhlosion now typhlosion is just amazing typhlosion if it's got neutral matchup then it's gonna hit with that blast burn so hard like even cloth sire blast burn from typhlosion is gonna do a wild damage now ferrothorn and typhlosion a very great combo but uh ferrothorn is weak against fighting types so there's no real coverage there for like the exact counter for fight fighters that is why i put a charmer there right and one sad thing about uh, this video is going to be that I ran out of TMs. I actually wanted to keep like some other move, but I was stuck in Hyper Beam. Yeah, it's, it is Hyper Beam, I guess. And I ran out of charge TMs. Man, that's so sad. But it is what it is. And you can also run this combo of Ferrothorn and Typhlosion with some other things like uh, Azumarill as well. And Azumarill is still in the meta circle. And one thing a little bit difficult with this team is like if you find Talonflame or some of the fires in the lead, then what you do, right? Just, uh, I just save swap into my Wigglytuff at those situations. Like even if it's Talonflame in the lead, I sometimes come in with my Typhlosion or Wigglytuff. And that's how it's gonna uh, roll. Like uh, that is why you can use Azumarill. Or something like that in place of uh, Wigglytuff as well. Another thing is the Mud Slap users. Uh, Ferrothorn being steel is also grass, so not that big of a problem. But something like Shadow Golark is gonna do a lot of damage with those Mud Slaps. But it's not that big deal. You're also doing great damage with you, even your Bullet Seed, and you can always grab the shield. So, without any further ado, let's start the battles here. And it's gonna be, there you go, Jerforic in the first battle, they come in with their low kicks, and a lot of people are running low kicks, and let's just go, let's invest one shield, and farm them fully down, right? That's how we're gonna play, and just a reminder, these are the beginning of the season battles, so don't expect, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, hardcore, amazing, uh, like, battles, <laughs> just... Alright, so just go for the Thunder Punch against the Girafarig, they shield, and let's just go for the Blast Form for the next move, and let's see if they decide to shield, and they don't shield, it one-shots that guy, and it's gonna be Talonflame, there you go, Talonflame in the first battle, and we're like, it's a Fairy and Ferrothorn, so what are we gonna do? <laughs> it's gonna be hard, <laughs> and I come in with uh, my Ferrothorn to catch something like Fly, and they actually have Fly, so they might be running Fly and uh, uh, Brave Bird, so I just go for the thunder and I was like, and they didn't shield it and <laughs> all right, <laughs> we take that and moving on to another one. It's going to be shadow for Rally Gator. And one thing I've noticed for Rally Gators don't swap. Why don't you swap against the Ferrothorn? This tells me they are something at the back weak against Ferrothorn as well. So let's just go for these power whips. And I'm not shielding the first move, obviously, right? So let's just go, and they are just staying, so let's just go for another power. They are going for the CMPs here, all right. All right, I'm going to grab the double shield if you don't, like, uh, let's see if they, if they decide to double shield. Uh, this power will one-shot them, and therefore they don't shield, and they come in with the Orang Guru. All right, Orang Guru, I'm going to come in with my Wigglytuff, just because it can handle the confusion damage a little well better than a uh, typhlosion and they ac actually have clots are so i bank an icy win and then come in with my typhlosion a little bit of uh, i think it might be a mistake but here's what i was thinking all right i'm gonna grab the shield and icy win uh, might come handy so that is why i banked one icy win and then came in with my typhlosion and so one blast burn is not gonna knock them out so if they shield uh, another one will be fired so they don't shield and just come in with the orang guru i mean it's the only pokemon they have left and they have one shield and they don't shield it it was the blast burn and did a lot of damage and i sniped with my icy wind from my wigglytuff and they actually let it go so yeah this it's kind of surrendering and moving on to another battle it's gonna be shadow victory bell and uh, let's go so it's kind of all right so they surrender i'll take that and another battle it's going to be medi champ all right medi uh, they were running counter some guys are running psycho cut so i come in on typhlo and it's a bastion done <laughs> not good 
Not good. Fighter against my steel. Rock against my fire. And what I was thinking is let's play one to one shield. Right? So something might happen. And here, uh, I think that uh, this will get shielded. And uh, right, so we go down. And they have a, a little bit of energy there. So I don't let them flame toward me and grab the shield. So I don't let them grab a shield. So that is why I win for the power whip. It's going to knock them out. They're coming back with their Medicham. And they've got another steal. So this is like completely countered. There's nothing I can do. So I'm just like playing around. So, well, there are things that I could do here. Like just go for the icy wind, and they will definitely not shield. Icy wind is gonna, not gonna do good damage. And gonna lower their attack. So I'm gonna bank another icy wind, and then just like if I could catch a move, something like uh, yeah, if I could, but I grab the thing, and they come with their, I come in with my ferrothorn, uh, banking one icy wind, and then for the power whip. And I don't I don't think we'll reach another power whip if this is going to be ice sponge even. Yeah, so counters like alright, so we didn't even get to the get to hit that and I just come with my wiggly and I just played it around. This was hard. And they throw psychic <laughs> to let us know that they won it by far. So it's gonna be dugong in another battle. Let's just go for these power whips. And uh, if they just icy wind, uh, they're gonna lose both the shields and still will get to the maybe the third power whip. That is, if if we throw on good times here and let, don't let them sneak, if we let them sneak even one ice shard, one ice shard will take us out before we reach to the third power whip. According to my calculations. So, yeah. And they have to shield it. They are double shield down. So I come with my Wiggly to tank the Icy Wind. And then I will, like, uh, come in with my Typhlosion to farm them down and gain a lot of energy and go ahead on energy. Go ahead on energy. So they come with their Sable Light. Just uh, this Blast Burn is going to one shot this guy. And we still got two shields. Even if they've got, like, something water. Unless it's waterfall as the fast move, we're gonna win it. And they have Azumarill, so we can just go for the uh, double thunder punch or one thunder punch and a blast burn. And we still have two shields, we still have Wigglytuff, so we're gonna win this game. Right? And yeah, we just come in with our Wiggly, we'll just shield. We're not making any mistakes at this point. We're gonna just shield safely, and we're just gonna like. Oh, they have Dugong remaining. Oh, it's not going to help them. And, yep. They surrender. Oh, they don't surrender. We take them out with Charm and we take the victory there. Now, it's going to be Altaria. Now, I was not expecting someone to use Altaria. Sky attack is going to take a long time to load. And... There we go. We see Altaria. So, we got Typhlosion at the back. But we have a counter for it, but it's at the back. And these Dragon Breaths, we are still... And Thunder is doing neutral damage, so we're 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 kind of staying in. And I'll throw this Thunder, and snipe with Wigglytuff to charm this thing, and but we could only charm once. And they had the Typhlosion. This is not looking good, right? But we will get to the Icy Wind, however. Yep, we will get to the Icy Wind, however. And there was a Flame Charge that boosted their attack. And we get the shield from Icy Wind. Every time I throw Icy Wind, we get the shield here. And they want some health. So let's come in with our Typhlosion and just go for build up to two and want to take their shield. One Thunder Punch to take them out. We'll do that here. And uh, I think this was the CMP. If this was the CMP. Alright, that was the CMP. Now, let's just shield, right? And that was the Brave Bird. All right. So, and we incinerated them down. And as soon as their Altaria came in, I threw the Thunder Punch here. And they like, I don't know, they... 
Oh, it's gonna be Septile. All right, so it's over for them. GGs. And yeah, I've seen a few. Even my friends are using Septile. Yeah, a lot of people are. Uh, so there we go. Very good lead. Very good lead. And let's just go for these power whips. And that's not a correct uh, time to throw the power whip, but these are just uh, like I said before, right? Beginning battles of the season, and I'm never serious. Come on, time to get serious. All right. After like one week, I'll start to play like, whoa, right, I'm, I'm serious now. <laughs> and I come, oh, they have the dance bars. So I come in with my wiggly and they're like, just throwing these rock slides, staying in and let's just throw this icy wind. There we go. Did you see I have the <laughs> hyper beam and I don't have the TM? Damn. Oh, let's just throw this icy wind and... A lot of people use Dunsparce as the punching bag, so that's what this guy is doing. And we simultaneous knock out each other, and it's gonna be their Cloth Sire. We still got two shields and one and a half Pokemon. I mean, uh, let's just go grab their both shields. Now, the calculations here would be, we will get to three Blast Burns. And that's what we need to win this game. We will get to three blast burns and last of their move if it's going to be sludge bomb or stone edge they will only get to maybe five fast moves five poison stings and five is not going to be enough they will need six so there you go yeah they will need um, yep yeah, before they reach and there you go they didn't reach and this blast burn is gonna knock this clotzire out and it's gonna be a gg and moving on to another battle, it's going to be a very good lead. Not that great, but... Oh, look at the lag. Oh, it's lagging already. Let's just go for the... And I actually lag and I didn't like... What's the move? I was like... I mean, what's the count? I was like... Let's just throw this power whip. And yeah, that did... What? Why it's, why it's lagging, man? My device, it's... When it, when it gets hotter... Like it lags, man. And they come in with the Typhlo, so I come in with my Wiggly. So it's like kind of similar situation where we took their first Pokemon out and they come in with their talent. So what do we do, right? <laughs> and I come in with my Typhlo, I mean Wiggly as the safe swap, and they just throwing the moves. They don't want us to get to the Icy Wind, obviously. And now I come in here with my Typhlo after the timer runs out to zero. I press Typhlo and just come here. I'm not like I'm not thinking to farm them down. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> I just throw the thunder punch, and I could have done one more incinerate and then threw the thunder punch. And I think I tried to catch. Did you see that? It was a lag. I tried to catch there. It was a lag. I tried to catch, and it's gonna be Trevenant. So there's nothing we can do because this Trevenant can Shadow Claw down, and not even two thunders are going to be enough. And they don't need to shield. Look at that. They will shadow claws down. They, they have a shield. Even if we have blast burn, they will just shadow ball our Typhlosion. So we take the L there. And another battle, it's going to be fair Rally Gator. And that's going to be the Hydro Gun. They caught the Power Whip in there. Was that Charge Bug? That's a good move. Charge Bug. But this Charge Bug is going to meet our Typhlosion here. All right, Typhlo. Just incinerate them down, investing one shield for that discharge. And let's just farm them down. And it's gonna be Azumarill that they're coming on uh, coming in with. Alright. So let's just throw these Thunder Punches. You know, that's Thunder Punch number one. And that's gonna be Thunder Punch number two. <laughs> we, we already have another one. And that's gonna be Thunder Punch number two. Look at how low they are already. That's Thunder Punch number three. <laughs> Three Thunder Punch number three. And they shield. And this is going to be Thunder Punch number four. <laughs> Thunder Punch number four. And they double shield their Azu. All right. <laughs> I come in with my uh, Ferrothorn to soak the energy. <laughs> yeah, this the Ice Beam. And 
I think, yeah, I shield and then farm them completely the down with the bullet seeds. And yeah, I was able to farm them down and I just throw the power whip. This will knock this for rally out. <laughs> and this surrender. And GG's moving on to another battle. It's going to be Jira for Reek. Oh, and oh, hey, what, what's that? Oh, wait, let's just throw the uh, power whip. So the shield and the Psyche Fangs don't need to get shielded. Yeah, let's. We can tank another Psychic Fang as well. Let's just go for these power whips. They're not running confusion on their Jira Freak. And we get double shield there. So this is where Typhlosion gets dangerous, right? Very, very dangerous. When opponents got no shield and we got two shields. It can beat anything, man. Yeah. Unless it's like something like, oh, it's gonna be Toxapex. So we got Wiggly at the back. This is really not looking good. And we gotta shield the Brine. Brine. And just throw this Thunder Punch. And you know what? If it's not Shadow Typhlo, then two Thunder Punch is not gonna be enough. And I was like worried they might catch it. Yeah, I was like worried and I just build up to a lot of the energy. And yeah, it was still not enough. And I banked one more and then coming with my Pharaoh. And they have energy loaded right in their Toxapex. So it's gonna come down to like CMP. And it's gonna be their digger speed. Alright, diggers. So I'm gonna bring in my Wiggly to soak all the energy. And we have like two Thunder Punches stored. So I, all I need to do is bring this down to Thunder Punch range. And one Thunder Punch to knock Diggers, one Thunder Punch to knock Toxa. And there's like Scorching Sands. It doesn't matter if they like farm us down. It doesn't matter. Because Typhlosion is gonna win CMP against both Diggers and Toxapex. So we have two Thunder Punch, one for this Digger P, and another we're gonna win the CMP. And this Thunder Punch is yeah, gonna be enough for this Toxa picks. And we take the victory there and GG's. And that is it guys, I hope you like this content. Typhlosion and Ferrothorn, and also we leave with the Hyper Beam which never got loaded. Hyper Beam never loads, uh, yeah, it's it, take it takes like, it's been, 84 years oh, which movie was it it was titanic right and yeah i hope you like the content and if you like the content then please leave like and comment and subscribe the channel if you have not yet thank you so much guys